I think in the future it might even like make debit cards obsolete. I think in the future it might even like make debit cards obsolete. I think in the future it might even like make debit cards obsolete. Ask anyone for change for 20 bucks, and many times you won't get it. That's because a lot of people don't carry cash anymore, and they're not grabbing credit cards either. Instead, they're using their smartphones. 13 News Now reporter Erin E. LeBeau takes a look at the trend that could lead to the dying dollar. What's in your wallet? Just my debit card and my ID. I have nothing in there. I carry very little information. Credit card and cash? It's a question I pose to people on the streets of downtown Norfolk. I found that very few people actually say cash. People are relying more and more on paying for things mobily with their smartphones. So I trusted Apple Pay because I've used it before. Apple Pay, Venmo, and Google Wallet to name a few. All are mobile payment apps that allow you to pay for things by flashing your phone. I honestly didn't trust it at first, but it's proven itself to be a reliable source to pay with. So I think in the future it might even like make debit cards obsolete. According to a study by strategy and research firm Javelin, mobile payments are expected to grow in the U.S. from $180 billion in 2016 to $410.5 billion by 2020. In 2016, 25% of U.S. smartphone users made a mobile payment once in 30 days. That's up from 12% in 2014. And with the increase of mobile paying, could the dollar be dying? I think the main reason is that it's convenient, it's efficient. A Christopher Newport University economics chair, Gian Pradhan, says the idea of a cashless society isn't anything new. We have to obviously acknowledge that there's been a huge expansion in the way people are using these electronic payments and things like that. But here's why he says in the U.S. mobile payments won't completely wipe out cash. One, it's expensive. Two, security concerns. How many times have we heard about these unauthorized hackers getting into a bank accounts? even though, you know, like the financial institutions are continually working to uh, prevent this sort of thing, this fraud? I mean, it's not easy to do. And lastly, he says there are privacy concerns. When you use your phone or your smart card or whatever to make purchases, people are going to know what you buy. They're going to know you. And so... And uh, so, you know, so your buying habits become sort of public. So in a world where cell phones continue to replace things like the alarm clock and cameras, when it comes to spending money, experts say cash is still king. We're going to continue to see the increase and proliferation of electronic payments and even e-money. I think um, it's, it's sort of unreasonable to think that we're going to move to a cashless society within the next five or ten years or something like that. I think it's going to take much longer. I'm Erin LeBeau, 13 News Now.